Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just need a bag to gig with on the weekends or a frequent flyer needing a flight-friendly TSA series case or a dedicated road warrior bringing your instruments on tour, Gator has a solution for you. World-class guitar and bass players, DJs, and recording professionals know for the stuff you love, guard it with Gator. Also brought to you by Breedlove Guitars prides themselves on innovative and sustainable guitar making practices. Known for comfort and playability with four revolutionary body shapes in a variety of exotic tone woods. Breedlove Guitars can be found at Sweetwater.com, the world's leading musical technology and instrument retailer. To learn more, go to the Sweetwater.com link in the show description. Today's tip is Fretboard 102, easily finding natural notes on your guitar neck. Back in March, I talked about learning the notes on the fretboard in my Fretboard 101 Learn the Notes on Your Guitar episode. I talked about the notes on each string, and now I'd like to take your fretboard knowledge and abilities just a little bit farther. In today's episode, I'll share simple ways to expand your fingerboard knowledge and skills playing only natural notes. So this time, no sharps or flats. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello and thank you to those of you listening in Dominican Republic, Nigeria, Slovenia, India, and Singapore. In the March fretboard episode, I talked about all the notes in sequence on each of the six strings. And if you'd like to review the notes, go back to the episode on March 23rd, 2023. We'll focus today on only the natural notes. That means no sharps or flats, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And please feel free to grab your guitar so you can give this a try as I'm describing the location of each of these notes. With each string, we'll start with the open note. So for string six, which is E, you'll play that note. The next natural note up from E would be F by pressing fret one, which is a half step because there's no sharps or flats between E and F. Now you'll go to the G, the next natural note, but it's not on fret two because that's an F sharp. You'll want to go to fret three for the G because we're only playing the natural notes. Next, go to fret five for the A. B is fret seven. C is fret eight because there's no sharps or flats between B and C. Then fret 10 for D and fret 12 is E, again, one octave higher. As you're playing this, be sure to use all your fingers in order as you move along the fretboard and move your hand when you run out of fingers to use. All right, let's do string five natural notes. So playing the string open, you're playing an A. Fret two, B. Fret three, C. Fret five, D. 
Fret 7, E. Fret 8, F. Fret 10, G. And fret 12, A. Again, one octave higher. String 4, natural notes. Open string D. Fret 2, E. Fret 3, F. Fret 5, G. Fret 7, A. Fret 9, B. Fret 10, C. And fret 12, D, an octave higher. Hey, do you know someone who would like to play guitar? It's never been easier with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. And if you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more, then my unlimited lessons, classes, and courses, and my coaching sessions could be just the right thing. The links are in the show notes on your podcast app, or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. String three natural notes. Open G. Fret 2, A. Fret 4, B. Fret 5, C. Fret 7, D. Fret 9, E. Fret 10, F. And fret 12, G again, one octave higher. String two natural notes. Open B, fret one, C, fret three, D, fret five, E, fret six, F, fret eight, G, fret ten, A, and fret twelve, B again, one octave higher. And strings one natural note positions are the same as string six, they're just a different octave. So, open E, fret 1, F, fret 3, G, fret 5, A, fret 7, B, fret 8, C, fret 10, D, and fret 12, E again, an octave higher. So I recommend that you play these individual natural notes as often as possible to become more familiar with your fretboard. And stay tuned, I'll share more ways to know your fretboard notes in a future episode. In the meantime, you can also learn more with my videos in my fretboard masterclass at marlenesmusic.com. Fretboard knowledge and skills make you a better player. Basically, you need to know your neck. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say... Play on.